Hey everyone, welcome back to more. Let's play Pokemon Black. Uh, this part, we are going to go up, uh... Route 8, making our way towards Opelucid City. Probably won't get there for the next few parts at the least. Because there's a little bit to do here, a lot of trainers to battle as well, so... Might as well... Uh, get started here. Alright, so... Route 8 is basically a pretty linear spot. Now, if it's winter time, the half this place will be in ice, so you'll have like a little sliding puzzle to go through. Here is just plain water. It's a little bit simpler to move through here. Yeah, time to battle uh, quite a number of trainers on uh, this route here. Dang, still a good spot for Big Leaf here. I mean, look at this. Bringing out this thing, a quadruple weak to grass here. And this thing is weak to bug types. Good type matchup right there. So Big Leaf is probably still gonna be gaining more levels here, I mean, given a basically type match and everything here. Okay, pick up the free berry and uh Let's see if I can get some other team members involved here. I mean, uh, Big Leaf has uh, gained enough levels already here. Now, Poison Barb in this corner. Now, TM36 Sludge Bomb. That's actually a pretty good move as well. Um, special based poison attack. So if you want to throw that on your team, you feel free to, because again, it's a pretty good move, actually. Alright, um... More trainers here. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna give Uber Eel some experience here, because he's gonna have to catch up a little bit. Again, the problem is that he's a 1.25 million Pokemon, so it's gonna take a lot more work to level this thing up. Yeah, we're just gonna be picking up the random items, uh, kind of scattered around this place here. I mean, that's not too useful. You probably should know that, right? I mean... Switching items. Uh, this person here gives you a free TM42 facade. 
Uh, that's a really good move if you are, like, paralyzed, poisoned, or burned. Probably best used when you're poisoned, because that way you don't have, you know, you can get the full attack boost without having to worry about, like, paralysis or burn, which actually cuts your attack in half. It's an interesting move, though. Fishermen tend to like to have a lot of basculins here. Again, luckily to give pretty good experience yield. Might as well pick up the free experience here. My gosh, Uber Eel probably needs like, what is like 7,500 or something? I mean, he needs a boatload of experience right now. The bar's not even moving up that much. Most of my other team members are pretty even in levels, except for Top Bird, which is like... ...impossibly behind here. up the free experience while we're at it. Okay, going to the right, um, that's the bridge to the right. We're not going to go there just yet. Uh, this person here, I think, gives you a free rock once a day here. I don't know the different types of rocks you can get. Probably rocks that strengthen uh, either certain attacks or certain like weather effects or something, or lengthen the you know, the duration of uh, weather effects. Anyway, uh, full restore. hit KO there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that has a Q charm for its ability, but no, you cannot Q charm uh, the same gender. At least to my knowledge. That'd be kind of wrong. Not that it made a difference there. Alrighty, uh, let's see. We'll pick up this thing first. And... This place here... Um, I don't remember the exact name of this place. What is this? Uh, More Icarus. Basically, it's some sort of like swamp land area. With the excellent music here. I love this music here. In this area. Very peaceful tone to it. I keep forgetting that you can get into wild encounters in shallow water here.
More items to find here. I find a hidden nugget in the middle there. Uh, let's see here. Trying to spread the experience around a little bit here. My top floater or top bird is gonna have a really bad time here because I mean I'm not even sure where I can get him some levels here. I'm really far behind right now. Stupid static. I may not even need my super jaws to be honest, so I think I'm okay with just uh I may not even need to heal by paralysis. having like a field day with uh, experience points here. I mean, I mean, seriously, not that long ago she was like way behind in the level department. Now she's like almost um way up there on the levels. reflection of uh, yourself in the water there. And again, they really did a good job with the kind of the graphics to really uh, make it more realistic here. I mean, imagine like the old generation games, it just didn't look like much. Here, uh, Max Revive. Now more fishermen here. And why am I not surprised you have more Bascule in here? Like, every fisherman has to have these things. He's got a Stun Fisk, which is, uh, again, it's ground and electric. I mean, this works out very nicely for me here. And 
I believe this thing also has static for its ability. And since I've got to move that, it is a special base, so I'll just go around that. I'm not giving this thing a chance to use any electric moves. Because it's going to have to let go of the Endure, and at that point I'm just going to KO it. Okay, so that's just one side of this place. There's a kind of another area to explore here. Yeah, quite a number of items kind of scattered around this place, so just kind of uh, scout a little bit to see what you can uh, drill up here. Big mushroom in this corner. Quite a number of ranges in this area. Ice cream cone there. I mean, level wise, I'm only doing okay on them. I'm not really. Usually, I'm like level. I would hopefully I'd be around level 50 something right now. a bit on levels here, but I mean, still managing to sweep through everything here, so not a big deal. Not like anything's too difficult out here yet. Got a fracture here. Ooh, critical hit. Uh, so that's the evolved form of an Axew. I mean, that's, you know, easy enough to take out. It's that final evolution that's actually really good. I didn't uh, actually know how that it's a pretty solid Pokemon. Especially for in-game play. So, I'll, I'll show that when I get to the later on. I mean, at least that Pokemon. I mean, you'll have to run into it anyway. So, you know, make sure you have strength with you so you can explore this area, pick up some more goodies here. Trainer in this corner here. Yeah. 
Again, the levels of these the uh, trainers Pokemon are not that high. I mean, you got through the gym leader just fine. I mean, this isn't really any challenge for you. Just a more free experience here. Find a max ether in the middle of nowhere there. Alright, so that pretty much takes care of this area. There's really not much in here. No, it's not like a safari zone type of thing. Thank goodness, I'm not a big fan of safari zone. Too much luck involved. Alright, so we can, uh... Go back out here. Now to the right is uh, on our way to the Tube Line Bridge, but um, I'm gonna save that for the next part here. Let's see here, um... Try to think of what team I should... Or at least the order of my team here. And I'll explain why I'm kind of pondering this, I guess, for the next part. Otherwise, you know, if you've played this, you know what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so I think we're set to go here. Uh, next part, we'll head on to the tube line bridge here. Alright, I'll see you guys later.